Sure, it was devastating every time one of my business opportunities didn't pan out, but somehow I had the ability to get back up after I'd gotten knocked down and take another big swing, always swinging for the fences. I wanted to hit the big time. I wanted to hit home runs, even if that meant striking out on occasion. But the reality was, I wasn't just striking out on occasion. All I was doing was striking out. And after getting knocked down so many times, she just couldn't seem to get back up with the same vigor that I was able to. It had been seven months since she left. So there I was, 26 years old, divorced, and all alone. This was not how I thought my life was going to turn out. My life had become pitiful and depressing. As I looked up, the door swung open. In walked a tall, distinguished gentleman who looked like a cross between James Bond and Bruce Wayne. He wore an exquisitely tailored charcoal gray suit, clearly custom made, and a crisp white Italian dress shirt with a hand-stitched collar. The gentleman sat down at the table next to me. I didn't tell him any details about my dismal business. At that time, I wasn't even making enough money to pay my bills. In fact, I was living off credit card cash advances, doing balance transfers every time a credit card company came out with a new promotional interest rate. I was eating oatmeal and top ramen noodles for dinner every night because, well, that's all I could afford. I was broke. I told them that I had been recently divorced and that I was just now getting back on my feet, starting my life over. For whatever reason, he seemed genuinely interested and compassionate towards me about my story. I had read a self-help book recently that talked about the value of having a mentor, someone that you could emulate, someone that was willing to teach you how to be successful. And I thought to myself, maybe this is my chance. And then he said seven words that changed my life forever. Meet me here tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock a.m.